Hi, everyone. Welcome to the McGill Osler Society 2022-2023 Club Recruitment Session. It really is a privilege and a pleasure to be with you. My name is Samwan Arfei. I'm the co-president of the club, my second year in the position. And I'm recording this on behalf of my colleague, Lily Grossman, who is also a co-president and a member of the club. So hopefully you'll join me in the next few minutes and sharing some exciting events. And hopefully these events will also excite you to join us. So in brief, uh, the Ozer Society is indeed the oldest medical society at University of McGill. Since 1921, we celebrated our centenary 100 years ago. And really the main aim of, of this organization is to cultivate and enrich the education of McGill medical students because we really believe that there's an interplay between medicine and other disciplines. And these disciplines really range from, from philosophy to natural sciences and the derivations of them from physiology and other places where medicine itself it's, uh, became a discipline of its own. And, and this connection to the past is enriching, it's humbling, and it's it's joyous and wonderful. And, and we really want to celebrate some of that aspects with you. And we have a lot of events aligned with these missions, which I would be happy to share a little bit about. But before I do that, uh, the Osler... Uh, Library of the History of Medicine is one of the icons of this institution and has been for so many years with, with the books that have been bequeathed by uh, Osler himself and other uh, material dating hundreds of years uh, and really cementing an important moment in history. It, it has become a sort of a backbone of this institution and we're very happy that uh, after the fire that took place, uh, we are opening up and it is opening up to students. Uh, we also work in close collaboration with uh, Dr. Mary Haygirl the head of the librarian, many other colleagues and uh, friends, uh, including those in the social studies of medicine. So uh, this is something that a lot of us are familiar with, but haven't had a chance to go inside, but uh, where we are back again. Now, uh, of course, uh, this is a, a really a representation of the other students that have been engaged in the club, most notably Ali Alias and uh, Arjun Alkapal, previous co-presidents of the society, and as I mentioned to you earlier, we celebrated the 100th year, and uh, this is a reflective piece that is available in the Healthy News that you can read about if you're interested. And of course, we have our, some of our previous members uh, here at the banquet, uh, speaking of which, I will have a surprise for you hopefully in a few seconds. So stay tuned and you'll hear it. Now, uh, the generosity and the contribution of Professor Rolando del Maestro, who is uh, the chair of the Board of Curators, is undeniable in the organization also in the mission of the McGill Libraries, and we are so delighted and grateful for his contributions. And aligned with that, the Pam and Rolando del Maestro Family William Osler Medical Student Essay Awards is exactly the place to showcase interests of students by pairing them with an expert in the field and having them write essays to do research and to align themselves with this history of scholarship with inclusivity and also of curiosity. So these events take place every year and there are presentations for that, there's prizes for that. So we are also helpful in the sense that we are a medium in uh, sharing this news uh, with the McGill Library, uh, with Professor Dolmeister himself and the Verde Curator. So you can check out the website, the previous winners, the essays. And if you're interested, please uh, ask us questions. Now, I can't really stop without really telling you about uh, the Osler Lectureship because the Os Osler Lectureship is a very important part of what we do. And last year, November 3rd, we had our 44th annual Osler Lectureship. And we had uh, Professor Cindy Blackstock, uh, who really is a champion of Indigenous and First Nation groups, uh, who has been known across the country and beyond, uh, present a very important lecture on child welfare and human rights. This was broadcasted, it's available on YouTube, you look it up, you'll find it. And we're excited about this because we really believe that this is aligned with the mission of the society uh, on the grounds of equity, on the grounds of, of humanity and some of the other dimensions that we really firmly do believe in. Now, uh, another dimension about the uh, McGill Ozer Society concerns itself with dialogues and dialogues are not limited to geographical borders. Many of our members, have presented successfully at the American Oyster Society, where physicians, medical students, researchers, historians, uh, scholars gather around and discuss topics of interest. And uh, we had uh, a very strong representation uh, a few months ago, and uh, this was the place that it took uh, shape. And uh, a lot of students presented the research, 
And uh, this is something that uh, some of the members, especially people that write the essays and win the essays, uh, get to participate in again, thanks to the generosity of Professor Rolando Del Maestro and his wife, Pat. Uh, speaking of uh, them, uh, we also have a, a very excited uh, uh, update to share that we are actively hoping to collaborate with other institutions in Canada and beyond. And uh, one of the lectures that uh, was very popular and well-received was uh, Dr. Del Maestro's uh, lecture on Leonardo da Vinci and the Search for the Soul, a two and a half hour lecture with a uh, hundred uh, something participation. And uh, we're very excited that the Oster Society Western was very supportive of it. We jointly had this event and there'll be more in the future. And uh, the podcast uh, work that has been uh, started really uh, with my predecessors, people that have been part of the society and are continuing it. And uh, in fact, this is being incorporated to the block A. Dr. Ken Saylor uh, has had conversations with us and these are going to be incorporated into these vignettes that students can listen to and learn about. And there will be an expansion of these initiatives as well this year. Now, you might be asking, so I want to join the society, but what's in there for me? There's a lot. And uh, this is only really giving a glimpse of it, but but Osler Week is upon us, November 1st to 3rd, with the essay competitions, with the Molina Scholar presentations, with the 45th annual Osler Lectureship, which I will be telling you about very shortly, the banquet. And yes, really, the banquet is happening first time since the pandemic. It has been a tradition, and it's been something that we haven't really seen. So hopefully, if you're interested, and there's a lot of interest, of course, uh, that is something that you should be staying tuned for uh, in the first week of November. Trivia Night is another event that our members have organized. But due to COVID, we haven't really had a chance to present it. So this is something that's also happening this semester. And collaborations with other institutions, talk about websites coming up, showcasing the previous work we've done, an archive of information, a podcast. Uh, we were looking for expansion and, and bright minds with new ideas and new thoughts to engage with it. So we really are hoping to really see you in these roles and capacities and other initiatives that you're interested in and to help support you with these goals and with these missions. And that really excites me, it excites my colleagues, and I'm sure it will excite you as well. Now, Professor Mitchell Goodwin really is a, another distinguished scholar in, in, in the field of law, and uh, she has kindly and generously accepted to become the 45th uh, uh, Osler Lecturer. And this is taking place in person. As I mentioned to you, uh, this will be in November and uh, November 2nd. Uh, there'll be more information about that and the banquet. So we really hope that we can see you there uh, whether you are part of the society, whether you're not, uh, we have a really stellar speaker there and uh, and uh, the credentials speak for themselves. Now, I talked about this briefly because I want to make sure that you get a glimpse, a little bit of a snapshot of things. And of course, we have a YouTube channel too, which will be uploading more content to it. But if you have questions, please do reach out to us, the Osler Society, Matt and McGill.ca. Or if it's easier for you, you can reach out to myself, Salman, or Lily, uh, the co-presidents. And we really hope to engage you. Uh, there are a number of opportunities of open positions. What we really look for is commitment and passion. Really, that's it. And if you're interested, if you have the time, you have the energy, you want to do things, you want to see things happen, this is the right place for you. And we want to have you here. So please consider applying. If there's any questions beyond the brief conversation that I try to have with you, please reach out. We will be excited and delighted to hear from you. Okay. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day and night. Take care. Was it better? Yeah. Did I actually?